My pick for this week is Moom 4, which Lots just of changes. came out. Yeah, holy cow. Uh, so Moom is a tool for window management um, that can do everything from, like, for example, I can hit my hyper key and down and the current window will center to a specific grid location on my screen. But I can also hover over the green button in the stoplights or the traffic lights on a window and I get a grid of ways I could reposition the window um, to like left half, right half. Um, I can have the like four, four front most, most recent windows organize themselves into a grid. Um, like, and it now has, you can now, that grid that I'm talking about now, you can expand to 61 presets. Um, yeah. And you can have, you can organize your presets by folders. So should, for some reason, 61 presets not be enough for you, you can have subfolders of presets, um, <laughs> which I just can't imagine ever needing. But they added drop zones, which are similar to uh, snap areas and better touch tool. Uh, but they like, you drag a window to the edge of the screen and these drop zones appear on your screen you can drag a window to a drop zone and it'll reposition to that drop zone um yeah it i'll i'll link you can there. customize the little palette now like if you yeah. hover over the in yeah. moom yeah and move if you hover over the green that. oh I just said that you just said customize the pet you know why you know why i didn't hear that everybody i'm gonna you tell were, you this is you were no, reading through it I, no here's the thing every once in a while there's an app update where the change log comes up and and it's so much that i leave it open the Moom changelog has been open ever since it first popped up, which is about a week ago. And, and so I've already had it open because I won't close it because I want to read everything. Yep. And so while you were talking, I was like, oh, what am I most excited about? Palette. But you already heard that from Brett, everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, it's an extensive changelog. Um, that's what I'll link uh, if you go to the show notes. But the, the amazing, and I don't know if I consider it reasonable or not, but for Moom 3 users, you can upgrade for like six bucks. Six bucks. And a new license is only 10 bucks. And honestly, this app is worth more than that. Everybody, um, since I have the change, uh, the change log open, six bucks through September 4th. After that, eight bucks. So they're really going to jack it. So get in there before they come for your money. And it's a, a perma license, no subscription. It's, it's just dirt cheap. And they, I just want them to charge more. Um, like he offered me a free license because he's doing a giveaway on uh, brettsherpshire.com. And I was like, six, no, I'll, I'll pay the six bucks. Um, yep. I accepted, I accepted a free license for a $90 app recently. Um, smart, smart. Yeah, that was, that, that was an app that I thought was fairly priced and I was planning to buy it. And he was like, oh, don't buy it. Here's a license. And I was like, I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. I'll save a hundred bucks. But uh, but six bucks? Yeah, I'm paying that. I um I think I use Moom in all kinds of ways, but the most important service it provides for me is what I call the panic button, which is like I start my day organized. I got my windows where I want them, whatever, right? But then my brain starts going off in 50 directions. I have three monitors and my laptop monitor and shit's everywhere and I can't think and all of a sudden I can't even do the thing I knew I had to do. I hit the panic button, just keyboard shortcut and uh, and all of the main important apps snap into place in which browser they should be and I can just go, okay, let's start again. Yep. And that, cause you can make these snapshots. You can say, you can say like, not only can you say, take a snapshot of all the windows as they are, you can choose to have it also snapshot the windows that are inactive, that are behind the windows and and have those be where they are and so it is just if you it's worth that money just for that like it's yeah. an amazing feature and you can call snapshots with apple script so you can integrate it with like a bunch sure can i have i have is what i yeah, have done. i do as well like my podcasting bunch pops open all the necessary windows and then boom puts them into a grid for me 